Ο Θεό λάσμη των αμαρτωλών και λέει σώμα. Ο Θεό λάσμη των αμαρτωλών και λέει σώμα. Κύριε, τα χείλη μου ανοίξει και το στόμα μου αναγγελεί την ένεσή σου. Θυμία μα η προσφέρουμε, Χριστέ ο Θεό ημών. Η ζωσμή είναι ευωδία πνευματική. Ανταπέψε με τη χάρη του Παναγίου Σου πνεύματο. Χριστός ο Θεός ημών, Χριστός ο Θεός ημών, Χριστός ο Θεός Ανάσταση Χριστού Θεά, σ' άμυνη προσκυνήσου με Άγιον και Χριστού Κύριον, μόνο να μάρτει και το Σταυρόν Σου Χριστέ προσκυνούμε και την Υγεία Σου, Ανάσταση ημνούμε και το εξάζουμε. Σίγουρα ο Θεός ημών, εκτός ο άλλο κουκίδο με το όνομά Σου, ονομάζουμε δεύτε πάντες η πιστή, προσκυνήσου με του Χριστού Αγία Ανάσταση. Ιδού γαρίθε του Σταυρού ενώ του κόσμου, διαπαντό ευλογούνται στον κύριο. Υμνούμε την ενάσταση αυτού του Σταυρού, γιατί που εμεί είμαστε να το θάνατο όλα. Σε brother in Christ, forgive me a sinner. Brothers and sisters, forgive me a sinner. Συγχωρε όμοι των αμαρτωλών. Συγχωρε όμοι των αμαρτωλών. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever. And to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of God and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Yerasimus, the Honorable Presbyters, the diaconate service of Christ <coughs> and of all the clergy and all the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and near, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us. Have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, Pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O Lord our God, whose power is beyond compare and glory is beyond understanding whose mercy is boundless and love for us is ineffable. Look upon us and upon this holy house in your compassion. Grant to us and to those who pray with us your abundant mercy. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the exodus of Israel from Egypt, the house of Jacob, Judah became his sanctuary. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The sea saw them and fled, the Jordan turned back. What is it to you, O sea, that you fled, and to you, O Jordan, that you turn back? Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. On the lovers, souls, and relays, and the aphylax, and the mass of the host, this is charity. This Panagia is a crown of people men, is in dolce de spinis, in mon theotoku, que parthenu marias, hiperagia theotoku, meta pandam tonagia omnimones, and deseaftus, que alilus, que passant in zoinimon, Christo to theo, para thomethom. Sikirie. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who put our hope in you. For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I have loved because the Lord shall hear the voice of my supplication. He inclined his ear to me, and in my days I shall call upon him. Save us, O Son of God, who were baptized in the Jordan by John. We sing to you, Alleluia. The pains of death surrounded me, the dangers of Hades found me. O Sonima Theu. O emi urthami ipo iwanu vaptistis, salundasi, alleluia. The Lord is merciful in righteousness, and our God has mercy. Save us, O Sahana of God, who were baptized in the Jordan by John. We sing to you, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Logos of God, being immortal, you condescended for our salvation to take flesh from the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. Christ our God, you were crucified, but conquered death by death. Being one with the Holy Trinity, glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us. Have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. O Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Through you, O Lord. Lord, you have given us grace to offer these common prayers with one heart. You have promised to grant the request of two or three gathered in your holy name. Fulfill now the petitions of your servants for our benefit, giving us the knowledge of your truth in this world and granting us eternal life in the world to come. For you are our good and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, 
and to the ages of ages. Amen. Master Lord our God, you have established Give in heaven the Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and our for his mercy endures forever. Grant that the Let the house of Israel say that he is that good, for his mercy endures forever. And glorify Let the house of Aaron say that he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let all who fear the Lord say that he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. As you were baptized in the Jordan, O Lord, then the worship of the Trinity became manifest. manifest. For the voice of the Father bore witness to you, naming you the beloved Son, and the Spirit in the form of a dove confirmed the certainty of the word. O Christ God, who appeared and illumined the world. Glory to you. Vlaimeni so don't na yon su pando tenin ke ai ke istu si onas to ne onan. Amen. Blessed is the entrance of your saints, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom let us be attentive, Sophia, worthy. Evloimenos, o ercomenos, en onomati kiriu. Theos kirios, ke pefanenimin. Sosonimasi etheu, o eni ordani po Ioannu baptistis. Salondasi, alleluia. Eni orthani vaptizomenus u Kyrie, it is triados efanerosi proskilisis, tu gargenitoros ifoni prose martirisi, agapiton se hiohon onomazusa, et opnevma enihi di peristeras, Eveve utu logu to asfales, O Epiphanis Christe heo Theos, Keton kosmon fotisas lohoxasi. You who have revealed yourself to the world today, And your light shines forth on us, Who sing your praise with full knowledge, you have come to us, O Lord, you who are made manifest, O unapproachable light. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy God, you dwell among your saints. You are praised by the seraphim with the thrice holy hymn, and glorified by the cherubim, and worshiped by all the heavenly powers. You brought all things out of nothing into being. You have created man and woman in your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the supplicant and do not overlook the sinner, but have established repentance as the way of salvation. You have enabled us, your lowly and unworthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar and to offer to you due worship and praise. Master, accept the thrice holy hymn also from the lips of us sinners, and visit us in your goodness. Forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions. Sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives. By the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Those who have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Alleluia. O Sivis Christon Eva, 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 Christ
Alleluia. Those who have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and and ever into the ages of of ages. ages. Amen. Have put on Christ. Alleluia. Viname. Let us be attentive. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he, he is good. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to Titus. Let us be attentive. Titus, my son, the grace of God has appeared for the salvation of all men, training us to renounce irreligion and worldly passions and to live sober, upright, and godly lives in this world, awaiting our blessed hope the appearing of the glory of the great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all iniquity and to purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Declare these things, exhort and reprove with all authority. Let no one disregard you. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of deeds done by us in righteousness, but in virtue of his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal in the Holy Spirit, which he poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. Peace be with you, the reader. And with your spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Bring to the Lord, O sons of God, bring to the Lord honor and glory. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your holy gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you, For you, Christ, are God of the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory, together with your fathers without beginning, and your all-holy, good and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be on to you all and with your spirit the holy gospel is according to saint matthew let us be attentive glory to you o lord glory to you then jesus came from galilee to the jordan to john to be baptized by him John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented, and when Jesus was baptized, he went up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were open. He saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom 
I am well pleased. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Again, we bow before you and pray to your good and loving God. Hear our supplications. Cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that we, so that they may always worship you with reverence and with love, partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation, and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. No one bound by worldly desires and pleasures is worthy of approach and don't draw a minister to you, the King of God. Let us who us who
πάντοτε νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων μην ως For 
this precious gifts he has presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world. <coughs> let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grantes, O Lord. Christianata telit is o isimon, anodina na peschin da edinica. Que calin apologien epti feveru vimatos, tu Christu eti sometho. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady that Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Most holy Theotokos and Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Um, Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners and let them reach your holy altar. Enable us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of your people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence, that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, and that your good and gracious spirit may abide with us, the gifts he has presented with and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all, holy, good, life creating spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Irene Pasi peace be with all of you and with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. I love you, Lord, you are my strength, my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. And and Guard the doors, wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty. 
creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, of true God, God begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us, who for us men, men and for our salvation, he came down, came down from, from heaven and was incarnate, was incarnate by the Holy, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit and the Virgin Mary, Mary and became man. He was, he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, Pilate he and suffered and was buried, and he, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand, hand of the Father, and he, and he will come again with glory to judge, to judge the, the living and the dead, and of his, his kingdom, kingdom shall have no end. And, and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver creator of life, who proceeds, proceeds from the Father, who together with the, with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, holy Catholic and apostolic, apostolic church, church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Let us stand well, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be <coughs> with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to sing to you, bless you, praise you, thank you, and worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing. And when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and seraphim, six wing, many eyes soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out and saying, Holy, 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 Lord Together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, you are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so love your world that you gave your only begotten Son so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us on the night when he was delivered up or rather 
when he gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Lavete, fayete, tutum estito soma, tu eperimon clomenon, is afesina martion take it. This is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. O mios que to potirio metatu dipnis elegon, pietex af tu pandes, tu to estito emamu, Totis kenis diathikis, to eperimon ke polone kinomenon, is afesina martion, drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Remembering there for this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second glorious coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in the cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. So that they may be to those who partake of them, for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer this spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, for fathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Ώστε γενέστε με νους την ύψηκη στις άφες είναι αμαρτιώνεις κοινωνία του Αγίου Σου Πνεύματος. Εις βασιλεία ούτανο πλήρωμα, εις παρησύνθου προσέ. Μη σκρίμα εις κατάκριμα, έτι προσφέρομαι ενσύ την τοιτά των λατρείων, υπέρ του πιστήν αποσωμένων προπατώρων, πατριωκών, προφετών, αποστόλων, κηρύκων, ευαγγελιστών, μαρτύρων, ομολογητών, εγκρατευτών και παντός especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary. Thymia mas si prosferme, Christi o Theo Simon, Isos mine vodias, Thymia mas si prosferme, Christi o Theo Simon, who is greater in honor and in glory than the armies of heaven. Every tongue is dumbfounded to extol as is worthy. A super mundane mind is dizzied, praising you with hymns of Theotokos. Nonetheless, accept our praise, since you are full of goodness, for you have seen our longing in deep, inspired by God. Lady, as the protectress of Christians, you do we magnify. Anastasia Eromonachis, and grant them rest our God where the light of your continent shines. Again, we ask you, Lord, remember all Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of your truth, all presbyters, all deacons in the service of Christ, and everyone in your holy orders. We also offer to you this spiritual worship of the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, and for those living in purity and holiness, and for all those in public service, permit them, O Lord, to serve and govern in peace, that through the faithful conduct of their duties, we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Above all, remember, Lord, 
our Archbishop Gerasimos, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all the people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, those who are traveling, the sick, the suffering, the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in our holy churches, and who care for the poor. Send your mercies upon us all, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again, in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For these gifts, precious gifts, often and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our loving God, who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may return and upon his divine grace. In the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of our transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy master with confidence and without fear of condemnation to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. We give thanks to you, invisible King, by your infinite power you created all things, and by your great mercy you brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for benefit according to the needs of each of us. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. And heal the sick, physician, of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place and from the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father and are also visibly present among us. Come and sanctify us and let your pure body and your precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. Let us be attentive. The Yati is the holy gift for the holy people of God. Melisate, que dia merisa tu amor, 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 que I rejoicing, I may magnify both your advents. How shall I, so unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal feast, my clothing will disgrace me, since it is not a wedding garment. Then I shall be bound and cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation, because of my unworthiness, instead may I receive them for the cleansing and sanctification of both soul and body, and as a pledge of the future life in your kingdom, it is good for me to cling to my God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of this mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. We welcome all of our guests and our visitors this morning. We're glad to have you with us. We respectfully remind you that the sacrament of Holy Communion is reserved for those who are baptized or chrismated Orthodox Christian in good sacramental standing with the Church, who have properly prepared through fasting, prayer, and the sacrament of Holy Confession. Therefore, if you're not Orthodox or if you have not properly prepared, we would respectfully ask that you remain in the pews during Holy Communion, but then at the end of the service, if you wish, you may come receive a blessing from the priest. There's further information in the cards in the pews. Thank you. Ah, 
Nastas ir stabrogarī Approach with the fear of God, faith, and love. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Of your mystical supper, on this day, O Son of God, who receives as I see to partake, the servant of God, Elia, and unto your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the forgiveness of the sins of life everlasting. I will not receive The servant of God, the Lord, for the forgiveness of the sins and life of the last of the Lavania, Petro, Soma, Kimakristo, the servant of God, receives the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of the sins and life of the last Servant of God, 
Παρασκευή, σώμα και με Χριστό, σ' άφεση να μαρθιών και ζωή, αιώνια να μην τα λαμβάνει του θεομανία, σώμα και με Χριστό, σ' άφεση να μαρθιών και ζωή, αιώνια να μην. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus
and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of our Lord and Prophets. You have fulfilled all the dispensation of our Father. Fill our hearts with the joy and gladness, always now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From this time forth, the voice of the Lord thunders upon the water, her saying, Come all of you and receive the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of the fear of God, from Christ who is made manifest. Today the nature of the waters is sanctified, and the Jordan River is parted in two. It holds back the stream of its own waters, seeing the Master wash himself. O oh Christ, the come, Christ the King, you have come into the river as a man. In your goodness you made haste to receive the baptism <coughs> of the servant at the hands of the forerunner John the Baptist for the sake of our sins. O you who love mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. At the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. You have come, O Lord, taking the form of a servant. And you who knew no sin, ask for baptism. Mm. The water saw you and were afraid. The forerunner was seized with trembling and cried aloud, saying, How shall the lamp illuminate the light? How shall the servant set his hand upon the master? O Savior, who takes away the sin of the world, sanctify both me and the waters. The reading is from the prophet Isaiah. Wisdom, let us listen attentively. Thus says the Lord, The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad, the desert shall rejoice and blossom, like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy in singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear, here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For water shall bring, break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there, and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, nor, but it shall be for God's people. No traveler, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come up on it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransom to the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrowing and sighing shall flee away. The reading is from the prophet Isaiah. Wisdom, let us listen attentively. Thus says the Lord, O oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come by and eat. Come by wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me, listen, so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you, because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, 
So are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out of my mouth. And it shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress, instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle, and it shall be to the Lord for a memorial, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. The reading is from the prophet Isaiah. Wisdom, let us listen attentively. Thus says the Lord, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And you will say in that day, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted, sing praises to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O royal Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Let us listen attentively. The Lord is my light and my Savior, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defender of my life, of whom then shall I be afraid? Wisdom. The reading is from the first epistle of Paul to the Corinthians. Let us listen attentively. I do not want you to be unaware, brethren, that our ancestors were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea, and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was Christ. Blessed be the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom the voice of the Lord is upon the waters. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A God of glory thundered, the Lord is upon many waters. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be unto you all. And with your spirit. The Holy Gospel is according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens opened and the Spirit ascending upon him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. For the peace of God and the salvation of our souls, <coughs> let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Yerasimus, the Honorable Presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, for all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, that they may be strengthened in every good deed, let us pray to the Lord. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for temperate seasons, 
Let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sickness, suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For this water, that it may be made <coughs> holy by the power and action and descent of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> For these waters that the cleansing action of the Trinity Supreme in being <coughs> may descend upon them, let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> For these waters that they may be given the grace of redemption and the blessing of the Jordan River, let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> that we may be enlightened by the light of knowledge and reverence to the descent of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Lord our God may send down the blessings of the Jordan River and sanctify these waters. Let us pray to the Lord. For this water that it may become a fountain of immortality, a gift of holiness, a remission of sins, for the healing of soul and body, and for every purpose that is expedient, let us pray to the Lord. For this water that it may become a spring welling up into, up to eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. For this water that it might serve <coughs> to avert every evil purpose of enemies, visible and invisible, let us pray to the Lord. For those who draw from this water and take it for the sanctification of their homes, let us pray to the Lord. For this water that it may bestow cleansing of soul and body upon all who draw it with faith and partake of it, let us pray to the Lord. Senor ten pieta. That we may be deemed worthy to be filled with holiness through partaking of these waters by the invisible manifestation of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Senor ten pieta. That the Lord our God may hearken unto the voice of the prayer of our sinners and have mercy upon us. Let us pray to the Lord. Senor, for our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, <clears throat> and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady and the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, most holy Theotokos, with Jesus. all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. O Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, true God, source of life and immortality. Light of light, who came into the world to enlighten us, shine upon <coughs> us, upon under, shine upon our understanding with your Holy Spirit, and accept us who offer unto you glory and thanksgiving for all your great and wondrous <coughs> works from all ages and for your saving dispensation in these last times. For you have clothed yourself in our poor and infirm nature and have submitted yourself to slavery, you who are king of all. Moreover, you have accepted to be baptized in the Jordan River by the hands of your servant John the Baptist, that having sanctified the nature of waters, O sinless one, you might lead us to a new birth through water and the Spirit, and restore us again in our original freedom. 
celebrating in remembrance of this divine mystery, we beg you, O loving Master, who loves humankind, sprinkle upon us your unworthy servants according to your divine promise, the cleansing water, the gift of your compassion. Grant that the petition of us sinners over this water may be acceptable unto your goodness and that your blessing may be granted to us and to all your faithful people unto the glory of your holy and venerable name. For unto you together with your fathers without beginning and your all holy good and life-giving spirit I do all glory, honor, and worship now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Trinity supreme in being, in goodness and in divinity, Almighty, who watches over all, invisible, incomprehensible, maker of spiritual beings and rational natures, innate goodness, light that none can approach, and that enlightens everyone who comes into the world. Shine also upon me, your unworthy servant. Enlighten the eyes of my understanding that I may boldly sing the praises of your measureless beneficence and of your might. May the prayer that I offer for the people here present be acceptable to you. Do not let my faults hinder your Holy Spirit from coming to this place, but suffer me now uncondemned to cry out to you. O most good Lord, and to say, we glorify you, O Master, who loves mankind, almighty, pre-eternal King. We glorify you, the creator and maker of all. We glorify you, only begotten Son of God, born without father from your mother and without mother from your father. In the feast of Christmas, we saw you as a child, while in the present celebration, we behold you full grown, our God made manifest, perfect God from perfect God. But today, the time of celebration is at hand for us. The choir of saints assembles with us, and angels join with us in keeping festival. Today, the grace of the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove descended upon the waters. Today, the sun that never sets has risen, and the world is filled with splendor by the light of the Lord. Today, the moon shines upon the world with the brightness of its rays. Today, the glittering stars make the inhabited earth fair with the radiance of their shining. Today, the clouds drop down, dew upon mankind, the dew of righteousness from on high. Today, the uncreated, of his own will, accepts the laying on of hands from his own creature. Today, the prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, approaches the master, but stands before him with trembling, seeing the condescension of God towards us. Today, the waters of the Jordan River are transformed into a fountain of healing by the coming of our Lord. Today, the whole creation is watered by mystical streams. Today, the transgressions of the human race are washed away by the waters of the Jordan River. Today, paradise has been thrown open to us, and the sun of righteousness has dawned upon us. Today, the bitter water, as once with Moses and the people of Israel, is changed to sweetness by the coming of the Lord. Today, we've been released from our ancient lamentation, and as the new Israel, we have found salvation. Today, we've been delivered from darkness and illumined by the light of the knowledge of God. Today, the blinding mist of the world is dispersed by the epiphany of our God. Today, the whole creation shines with light from on high. Today, air is laid low, and the coming of the Master has cleared a path of salvation for us. Today, the heavenly powers keep feast with us below, and those below commune with those above. Today, the triumphant assembly of the Orthodox keeps this holy festival with great joy. Today, the Master hastens towards baptism, that he may lift us up to the heights. Today, he who bows not, bows down to his own servant, that he may set us free from bondage. Today, we have purchased the kingdom of heaven, for the Lord's kingdom shall have no end. Today, earth and sea share the joy of the world, and the world is filled with gladness. The water saw you, O God. The water saw you and were afraid. The Jordan turned back, seeing the fire of the Godhead descending bodily and entering its stream. The Jordan turned back, beholding the Holy Spirit coming down in the form of a dove and flying about you. The Jordan turned back, seeing the invisible made visible, the Creator made flesh, the Master in the form of a servant. The Jordan turned back, and the mountain skipped, looking upon God in the flesh. And the clouds gave voice, marveling at him who was to come. 
the light of light, true God of true God. For today in the Jordan they saw the triumph of the Master. They saw him drown in the Jordan River, the death of disobedience, the sting of error, and the chains of Hades, and bestow upon the world the baptism of salvation. Therefore, Master, unworthy servant though I am, I recount the majesty of your wonders and seize with fear and compunction a cry aloud to you. Great are you, O Lord, and wondrous are your works. No words will suffice to sing of your wonders. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Mega si kiri kadamastata ergasu, que dis logos exarques y prosimnon don damasion su. Oxa si kiri e voxa hasi. Great are you, O Lord, and wondrous are your works. No words have fish suffices to sing of your wonders. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. For you by your own will have brought all things out of nothingness into being. By your power you sustain creation, and by your providence you govern the world. Out of the elements you form the creation. With four seasons have you crowned the cycle of the year. All the spiritual powers of heaven tremble before you. The sun sings your praises, the moon glorifies you. The stars supplicate before you. Light obeys you and the depths are afraid at your presence. The fountains are your servants. You've stretched out the heavens like a tent. You've established the earth upon the waters. You've walled about the sea with sand. You've poured forth the air that all living things may breathe. Angelic powers minister before you. Choirs of archangels worship you. The many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim stand around you and flying about you hide their faces in fear of your unapproachable glory. For you, the boundless God, without beginning, beyond words even to describe, have come upon the earth taking the form of a servant, having been made in the likeness of men. For you, a master in your mercy and compassion, could not bear to see the human race beneath the tyranny of the devil. You came and you saved us. We confess your grace. We proclaim your mercy. We do not conceal your goodness. You have set free generation after generation of the human race. You have made holy the virgin's womb by your birth. At your epiphany, the whole creation sang your praises. For you, our God, have appeared upon the earth and lived among us. You have made holy the streams of the Jordan River. Sending down from on high your most holy spirit <coughs> and broken the heads of the dragons that are hidden therein. O loving King, be present now also <coughs> through the descent of your holy spirit and make this water holy. Αυτό ο φιλάνθρωπε βασιλέ παρέσον και νι απευθύσεως του αγίου σου πνεύματος και αγίασον το είδο τούτο. Therefore, loving King, be present now as then through the descent of the, your Holy Spirit and make this water holy. Amen. Confer upon these waters the grace of redemption, the blessing of the Jordan. Make it a source of incorruption, a gift of holiness, a remission of sins, a protection against diseases to the destruction of demons, inaccessible to demonic powers, and filled with angelic strength, strength, that all who draw from it and partake of it may have it for the cleansing of their souls and bodies, for the healing of their passions, for the sanctification of their homes, <clears throat> and for every purpose that is good and beneficial. For you are our God, who has renewed through water the spirit our falling nature, grown old through sin. You are our God who, draw, who drowned sin through, back, through water in the days of Noah. You are our God who through the waters of the Red Sea at Moses' hand set free the Hebrew nation from their bondage to Pharaoh. You are our God who has split the rock in the wilderness. The waters gushed out and streams overflowed and you, and you sent, sanctified, satisfied your thirsty people. You are our God who by water and fire through Elijah have brought back Israel from the era of Baal. O Master, now as then, 
Make this water holy Amen. by the descent of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Αυτός και νυν δέσποτα αγίασον το είδο τούτο, το πνεύμα σου το Άγιο. Αμήν. Ο Μάστερ, now as then make this water holy by the descent of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant to all those who touch it, who anoint themselves with it or drink from it, holiness, blessings, cleansing, and health. Save, O Lord, your servants, our faithful rulers. Keep them in peace under the protection, under your protection. Put under their feet every enemy and adversary. Bestow upon them whatever they ask unto salvation and eternal life. Remember, O Lord, our most holy patriarch, our archbishops, and all the priests in the diaconate in Christ the whole order of clergy, and the people here present, together with all our brethren of Epson for a just cause. Have mercy upon them and upon us according to your great mercy, so by the elements of nature, by the angels and by the human race, by the things visible and invisible, may your most holy name be glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be upon all of you. And, and with, with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. Incline your ear and hearken to us, O Lord, for you accepted baptism in the Jordan River and made the waters holy. Bless us all who by the bowing of our heads outwardly show you that we are your servants. Deem us worthy to be filled with your holiness through partaking of this water and being sprinkled with it, that it may bring us, O Lord, health of soul and body. For you are the sanctification of our souls and bodies, and unto you do we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship, together with your Father who is without beginning and your all holy, good, and life, creating spirit, now and forever and under the ages of ages. Amen. When you were baptized in the river Jordan, O Christ, the worship of the Trinity was made known. <coughs> For lo, the Father's <coughs> voice spoke of you with love, calling you his well-beloved Son. And the spirit in the form of a dove descended to for sure the spoken word. O oh Christ our God, the light of the world, glory to you, O Lord. And your dhanye baptizo menus Κίτσις τριάδος εφανερώθη προσκύνησης Του γαργενή το ρώσι φωνή προς εμαρτύρηση Αγάπη των σε Ιών ονομάζουσα Και το πνεύμα εν ήδη περιστεράς Εβεβαίου του λόγου το ασφαλές Ο επιφάνης Χριστέ ο Θεός και το κόσμον φωτίσας δοξάσι. When you were baptized in the Jordan River, O oh Lord, the worship of the Trinity was made known. For the voice of the Father bore witness to you, calling you his beloved Son. And the Spirit in the form of a dove Confirmed his word assure and steadfast. O Christ our God, the light of the world, glory to you. En iorthani baptizo menus ukirie, it is triados efanero hosi proskinisit, ugargenitoros ifoni prosemartirisim, 
Tu gardieni torosi foni pro se martirisi, agapiton se io non o mazusa, che to pnevma eni di peristeros, e veveu tu logu to asfales, o epifanis Christe o Theos, che to cosmon fotisas doxasi. You have revealed yourself to the world today, and your light shines forth on us, who sing your praise with full knowledge. You have come to O Lord, you who are made manifest, O oh, unapproachable light. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love. Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God. I hope glory to you. May Christ our true God, who for our salvation condescended to be baptized in the Jordan at the hands of John, and who rose and through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the angelic powers of heaven, the prayers of the holy, glorious, and prophet, and forerunner, Lord John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostle of St. Paul, the apostle whose name our church bears, the holy and victorious martyrs, our venerable and God-bearing fathers, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints whose memory we celebrate this day. Through the prayers of Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the blessing of the Lord be with you all the days of your lives. Please be seated just for a moment. As you all know, today we are celebrating Epiphany. That is, when God the Father, the Spirit, that is the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove, as well as the Son, all three were together. All three were present at the baptism. Epiphany, Epiphania, as we uh, like to call it in Greek, uh, is the manifestation, the appearance of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, all together in one. So happy name day to all those who celebrate their name day today. <laughs> so, so Father always wants me to give a long sermon, and uh, so uh, I will not do that. Uh, and it's my disobedience to Father. I'm sorry, Father. Uh, but you allow me once in a while, you know, to... Uh, just, I just want you to imagine something. I mean, the very serious thing. Sometimes, you know, we get dressed to come to church. Sometimes we get dressed to, uh, to go to an event. And, and we wear, you know, uh, our best. Just imagine Christ. You're going to visit Christ. Just imagine, I mean, the trem trembling, you know, that we may have, the anxiety that we may have. So here's this guy in the Jordan River who is baptizing people, and all of a sudden, Christ comes to him. And he's probably, uh, you know, with his clothes wrapped up here, you know, as he's baptizing uh, people. 
Then Christ appears. I mean, it's, it's, I just, I don't know how to express it. It's such a unbelievable thing that all of a sudden the creator of the universe, the almighty is there in front of him. And it's St. John that's baptizing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The whole thought is awesome for me. It's unexpressible. You can't really explain it. And so it is that God the Father, the Holy Spirit, the Son, all together, it's got to be most, a most amazing thing in the world. Anyway, I just wanted you to know, you know that uh, even priests tremble at the thought of that. And uh, I do every time I do this uh, service along with Father and Father Vlasco, who has joined me. Now, we just don't get you wet once. We're going to get you wet again as you come up and venerate. And we do wish Father Theophanis and all the people who celebrate today, Fortius, Fortini, Theophania, Theoph etc., happy name day. We also wish Father Blasco blessed Christmas. Tonight, services are 6 p.m., is that it? 6 p.m. Vespers for Christmas on the Julian calendar. Tomorrow morning, uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, Divine Liturgy for Christmas on the Julian calendar. Also, our sister parish, St. John the Baptist, this evening has Vespers, 6.30 p.m. for St. John the Baptist on the new calendar tomorrow morning. Liturgy there at 9 o'clock, or throws divine liturgy at 10 a.m. Thank you. The blessing you. of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Go ahead and kiss the cross. God bless. Every year, give you the blessing of our Get to Chrono, Namaste Kala. Come, O Chrono, Namaste Kala. Come, O faithful people, let us praise the greatness of God's dispensation and towards us. Becoming human because of our transgression, he who alone is clean and undefiled was cleansed in the Jordan River that we Thank might you. be he made Thank clean, sanctifying Thank us you. and the Thank waters you. and crushing the heads of the dragons in the water. Let us then draw the water in Allah. gladness, O brethren, for upon those who draw with faith the grace of the Spirit is invisibly bestowed by Christ our God and the Savior of our souls. The blessing of our Lord. The blessing of our the Lord. The Trinity was made manifest Thank in the Jordan. Much. For the Father's supreme in divinity bore witness, saying, He who is baptized here is my beloved Son. 